Hey, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. What's going on? It's your girl, Paulette. I'm the owner and founder of brownstoneworldwide.com, which houses, you guessed it, KCCR Radio, the Brownstone, brownstonemarketplace.com, and also Brownstone Living in Essentials magazine. So listen, 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 y'all. It is Monday evening, and I've been working all day. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. So are you. So we're going to keep this simple, straight, to the point. We're going to get some uh, easy meals happening this evening and uh, really for the rest of the week. So every time we do a, a tips, topics, and talk Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you guys are going to get an opportunity to see how simple, quick, and easy it is to make a quick meal. So first thing is, is I've got my happy planner here, one of my handy dandy notebooks of choice. And on the inside of this is where I keep my recipes. So today we're literally making an Italian sausage and rice dish with peppers and tomato sauce or tomato paste but for me tonight guess what folks i don't have either i didn't feel like going to the store so i grabbed the next best thing and that is guess what tomato soup i had no other choice <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens while we are preparing our meal so i'm gonna go ahead and grab you guys and take you over here to my kitchen uh to my stove rather oh if we can get some movement happening or to get it to slow down, that'd be great. So listen, what we're going to do, as you can see, I have my sausage in here. Y'all can you, you, I always tell you guys this. Um, whenever I'm cooking, go ahead and make sure that you're using whatever type of protein that you want. That you want. It doesn't matter. If you want to use, say, for instance, there's a really nice vegan one that's out. Um, you can use that. Um, you can use veggie corn if you want to use that. You can use ground sausage, turkey, whatever. But for me tonight, it is a basic sweet Italian uh, sausage that I decided to use. It is uh, pork based. So again, it is your choice. What what we won't do here and, and what drives me nuts is people tell you what you should or you shouldn't do or, or, or um, I don't do. That's fine. Just substitute. That's all we need you to do is to simply substitute for what you would do. Okay. And I think the reason why I'm bringing this up is because y'all grab me nuts with that. Just hush and substitute. That's all you have to do. Now, what we're going to be adding to this is a very simple recipe. Where is my packet at? Okay. So I have a packet of seasoned rice, pre-seasoned rice. I literally took it out of the box because I had to kind of be careful about, um, uh, the products that I am introducing to you guys. But this is just seasoned rice, okay? And I got a can of tomato soup right here already open. And we're going to be using that as well. I've also got my red pepper. I've got a yellow pepper or what they call orange at Walmart. I don't know why they did. And I'm also going to choose one onion. And then we're going to pull out Roger. We're gonna start cooking. So, you guys, this is Roger. I want to introduce you to my friend. Hello, Roger. This is Roger right here. He's my buddy. He hangs out here in the kitchen with me. Um, and we're going to be cutting up our veggies while our meat continues to cook. So, I went on ahead and got started before um, we started airing this because I think it's important for you guys to see that y'all. It really does take a little bit longer than thirty minutes to get one of these um, recipes done, and that's okay. Um, We'll just make it do with you. So I'm going to grab my onions. And I'm only going to use one. Oh, yeah. Where are my onions at, y'all? They're over here. So um, I pulled everything out because I figured it would be the easiest thing for me to do. Uh, given the circumstances. Because everybody's had it. Everybody's had it. <laughs> so we've gone on ahead. And these have already been washed. I'm going to grab a simple knife and we're going to cut our veggies and put them in here along with it. And it's really, y'all, it, it is really going to be a simple, basic recipe. One hand that can be used to prepare everything, okay? Which is what I really like. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my I just cannot understand where all my knives go. Y'all, I got two sets of knives in. Oh my God, let's use this one. So we're gonna use a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and cut our veggies. Cut them down. Don't cut them 
down, and then we're going to start checking into our meat and see how it's doing. We're going to put that to the side, and also this, and um, we're going to slice up our vegetables. Y'all can use any kind of vegetable that you want. I like to keep it very simple and cost efficient, because when I went to the grocery store on Sunday, I was going to literally purchase some bacon. Y'all, bacon was $10. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? $10. Yes, that's that's what I said. I said $10. I didn't say a dollar. $10. $10 for some bacon. And I thought, no, that's not going to do it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down just a little bit. We're going to get a nice crust on our um, sausage here. And guys, guess what I'm cooking it in? Butter. Real butter. 100% butter. So, let me finish cutting up our vegetables. And they don't have to be any, they don't have to be cut any specific way. Right? Because by the time they sweat down, they're just going to be vegetables. <laughs> so, I'm just going to cut up one onion and our peppers. And I'm going to add some water as well to our dish so it can continue to cook down. Okay. So, what's happening in the brownstone this week? Well, a couple of things. Number one, um, we have welcomed to the fold the Nicole Johnson, um, who has a new show called Your Money Matters. She's going to be talking to you guys about, of course, what? Your money. Okay. What I would encourage you guys to do is to go over to brownstoneworldwide.com, take a look at the show. It actually aired before I came on tonight, and you can take a look at it and see for yourself. So that's going to be a lot of fun. You guys can see that. You can see all of us hanging out with her, um, and and uh, you can share that particular video on your own personal page because... It's good information. She is really going to be giving you information that you can use. And it's really just an intro to what she's going to be offering to the Brownstone. Now, one of the other cool things is that she's also officially one of our contributing writers to brownstoneworldwide.com. So, we're excited about that. We're glad to see her come into the family. Um, and there's more to come. So, we're actually planning on some other cool stuff that's coming down the pipe as well. That includes Miss Nicole. All right, so I'm cutting up this final pepper. And we're going to start putting all of our ingredients together in this skillet. And of course, what is my skillet's name? Everybody that follows me on a regular basis, you know her name is Sally. This is my favorite cast iron skillet. And y'all, believe it or not, I have others. I just don't use that one as much because this one is the perfect size. Okay, she hides off in my oven when she's not in use, and um, we just use her a lot. We use her a lot, a lot. So I'm cutting off this last bell pepper, and guys, a red or a, a yellow or orange bell pepper is really a bell pepper that hasn't matured and turned green. <laughs> when I found that out, I thought, you got to be kidding me. I'm paying more for a baby green bell pepper that's not green yet? I don't know. Understand? I don't understand. Anyway, enough of that. So again, what you're, what I'm doing is I'm cutting these up so that everybody in the family will get a smidgen of the vegetables, a smidgen of the protein or the meat, um, and everybody wins. What we don't need to do is to overcook. When I say overcook, cook too much food because everybody's not going to eat either. Okay? You notice how sometimes the over that you get, you cook less. Well, that's what's starting to happen in my household now. What I'm going to do is add our veggies to our mixture here. All on the floor. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. There we go. We got veggies. We got our beautiful meat that is cooking in that butter, creating that nice crust. Let me go ahead and let, let you guys see a little bit more. I'm going to lean that down just a little bit. Hope you guys can see that. Okay. There we go. Now, here comes the easiest part of this whole thing. 
And guys, really, the entire recipe, oh, Lord, the entire recipe is super easy. Like I said, the recipes that I like to prepare, especially after a long day and I've worked hard or whatever else, I don't want to come home and deal with anything, is I want to come home and, and, and cook really quick, keep the area that I'm in really super clean, and um, or at least clean enough until I'm completely done. And then have the meal ready for me to consume with my family at the dining at the dining room table, rather than everybody on their cell phones or all that other stuff. And actually, we talked about that last week on brownstoneworldwide.com, where um, we've given some easy tips on how to get everybody at the table. I have one: call everybody to the table. <laughs> how about that? But you know how that is, right? Because everybody's doing their own thing. Everybody is, you know, consuming content or creating content. And especially in our household, that's what we're doing. Um, so th that's one of the things that I think is um, pretty, you know, interesting about today's family dynamic because, you know, people are not sitting at the table like they used to, but it is a good thing to continue to do. So um, I like to do it because it connects the family. We find out what's going on. We can support where we can support, you know, those kinds of things. So I'm going to go ahead and take my... Uh, rice. This is a pre-seasoned rice that's already been parboiled. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that open. Let me see. Can I cut it open? Let me see. I'll use this one. I try not to show sharp items on video as much. Um, so this is already pre-seasoned, okay? And we're just going to reconstitute some of the dried vegetables and herbs and seasonings in here with water. That's it. But uh, I'll do that once I put my tomatoes in here. And again, like I said, I didn't have any tomatoes or tomato paste. So I'm using a can of tomato soup. Okay, that's it. Then you know the rule of thumb is, is you want to put um, water in your can and pour this over the top. Okay. All right, so pouring that water over the top. And we're going to let that simmer. And I'll probably use another can of this, okay, to kind of get it really reconstituted and let those vegetables kind of plump back up that were dried and in the, in, the, in the rice as well. And then I'll take my lovely spoon, kind of put that rice down off in there so it can continue to do what it needs to do. And then we have our tomato soup that is a part of the mixture. Y'all see how easy that was? Now all we're waiting for it to do is to cook down. Okay? Y'all see that? Simple. Okay? Simple, simple, simple. Now, you can turn the, the heat back up to get it to kind of cook, or you can have it to cook slowly so that those flavors really get infused inside of the meat and also a part of the uh, rice and the soup that we added to it. Okay? That's all you got to do. That's it. We're done. Now, you can add anything that you want to to it. You can add... A side dish to it, maybe you know, a side of vegetables, but we already have that in here. But if you want like corn or peas or something to go with it, by all means, feel free to do so. Um, so we're done with this particular recipe. So I'm gonna head back over here and we're going to have a conversation. So, what is our conversation going to be about today? We have oh, I got about 15 minutes to really have some heavy conversation with you guys, and I'm really excited to do so. So we're talking about brownstoneworldwide.com and the content that you guys are going to be able to see this week. We're excited about that. All right, so first things first. Um, this week on Brownstone Worldwide, we're going to be talking about fall decor uh, and what's coming down the pipe in terms of what you can expect uh, for the fall season. We're going to be sharing some reels on some shopping excursions where I really want shopping. I, I love to window shop, y'all. I love to window shop. It's one of my best and most favorite pastimes is to window shop and to see what is out there when it comes to um, what's coming down the pipe for home decor for seasons as they come. And you guys know the biggest season that we're in right now is fall. And that means what's next? The holidays. The holidays are really upon us. And you probably have already been to a lot of the stores and you started seeing as late as um, as early as late July. You probably already started seeing like fall, Thanksgiving and the Christmas stuff already out. Go to Hobby Lobby if you want to. It's full of nothing but Christmas decor, 
fall decor, all of the home decor and what's popular for the season. Uh, we went to a discount store today and they're full of nothing but the holiday stuff already. So uh, I'm really impressed, but I'm also kind of like when it gets, it seems like it's earlier and earlier every year that we're starting to see more and more and more companies already have the stuff out and ready. Now, here's my suggestion to anybody that is looking to do the home decor theme, and you may not have the budget to do so. Do not, do not, do not be afraid, number one, to do two things. One, here's my tip for you. This is something that I used to do all of the time, even when I was in my early 20s, and I was calling myself trying to decorate my home for my kids. I would hit up a Goodwill in a minute. Think I wouldn't, if it was not a Goodwill, it would be a consignment store or it would be like um, a resale shop that was in the community that really wasn't associated or affiliated with a large organization. Because a lot of times you can get like home decor and stuff like that for 10 cents, 5 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, you know, and you could do simple things. Now, I also know that the Dollar Tree literally has like the cute little scarecrows and stuff like that. Now you can find them everywhere and so one of the things that we like to do is to number one get you some big pieces that you're going to pull out every year so i have my pumpkins big pieces of pumpkins and things like that my door hangers for the front of the house that lean up against the brick um those kinds of things those are things that i pull out every single year without fail the wreath gets pulled out every year. Um, so we have our big items that I spent money on. So like the wreath was made for me. I had it made. And so I know I spent close to $100 to have it designed. And so I know every year I'm going to get my money's worth and I'm going to pull that out. You don't have to be like me. You may want to go over to Dollar Tree and create your own. But the idea is, is to start with your larger basic pieces that you already have. Well, Miss Paulette, that's not the colors. That's not the stuff that they was talking about in XYZ Magazine. Do you have XYZ Magazine's money? You need to learn how to have what you have on hand be what you work with and work around that. That is what I've learned how to do. So one of the things that we did this year that was super different was um, I used some pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree. So um, you know all the stackable pumpkins that you see laying around and stuff like that, and they're super expensive. Well, this week, I'm going to literally show you a way to keep some money in your house and just make your own stackable pumpkins and, and just kind of have those around as something for your family to kind of look at and enjoy throughout the holiday season and make it fun for yourself and for the family. You can actually get the family involved. So we're going to be doing that. And I'm going to share with you those at least two, two of the pumpkins that we have. One, and they were only, y'all, they were $1.25. So I call myself going to start anyway. And so these were $1.25, right? Okay. So I want to get some bigger ones and we are going to be connecting these. So these are styrofoam. So using like a hot glue gun is a no because it'll melt right through it. And also using, um, there is an epoxy glue. Don't use that because it'll melt right through it. Ask me how I know. Okay. I actually tried it. It didn't work really well. So we'll be using like a, some toothpicks to kind of connect them. Uh, and skewers going all the way through so they will all be connected and then I can put these around the house. Okay, I bought about 15 of these and um, I have two that are literally stacked on my island. So that's that's pretty much what I was showing you was that. All right, so that's number one. Number two, um, what are we doing? We are going to be sharing with you guys a simple roast chicken meal. Um, it is roast chicken. I'm going to be using a roaster and uh, making it a super simple, easy meal that anybody can create. You can actually use it um, and just keep your oven on low or you can put it in the slow cooker. The slow cooker, however, is going to be a little bit different because um, if you put it in the slow cooker, it won't have that crispy exterior on the skin that you would get if you used your roaster. Okay, so we're going to be sharing that with you this week as well. Uh, what else? Oh, let's go check on. Let's go see. Y'all ready to go see? Let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see. Ooh, chat. Look. Y'all see that? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a cooking. Let's take a look. Look at that. Now, this is a really cool, easy meal to make. And as you can see, the rice is starting to expand. Again, it's parboiled, so it's not going to take long to cook. And you see it already thickening up. This is going to be really good to have along with, um, say, for instance, 
uh, along with, say, for instance, uh, cornbread or, you know, something like that you can have. So definitely keep that in mind to add directly to what you have. Um, you can do that. And uh, add maybe, you know, your favorite drinks or something like that, you know, and then a cute little dessert. So it's already cooking. It's good to go. It's good to go. Awesome. There you go. All right. Now. Let's continue to talk about all of the things that we're going to be discussing with you guys on uh, brownstoneworldwide.com this week. So um, we will have our, let's see, uh, Cohen's Corner is this week. Y'all don't want to miss that. <laughs> That's number one. We also have um, under the wheelhouse KCCR Radio. What I would encourage you guys to do is to go ahead and take a listen. How do you do that? Just by downloading the app. That's all you got to do. That's number one. Download the app and you can listen in 24-7. Later on in the week, you'll be able to listen to uh, Tony Sanchez. He is going to be um, providing us with great music. We've got jazz and uh, blues that he plays. And um, that's going to be on Saturdays, Saturday and Sunday with the Eye of the Storm. Then on Sunday, Sunday morning at 11 a.m. is... Uh, the Sunday brunch. That's with me. And then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, first thing in the morning, it'll be ish. And I like to say ish because it depends on what I was doing the night before. Of course, the day shift will be broadcast so that you guys can get an opportunity to get in with me and connect. And we can laugh and talk and kiki over coffee first thing in the morning about the things that are happening around the world. We're going to be talking about world news. We're going to be talking about sports, entertainment, all of the craziness that's happening out there right now. And also something else that is going to be um, a pain point if we're not careful and if we don't get ahead of it in terms of the information um, that we're receiving from the news right now. And that is, you guessed it, this money situation, y'all. Like I said earlier, bacon is $10, $10. The cheapest pack of bacon that I saw were the bacon pieces and they were $6 and some change. So close to $7, it wasn't even funny. Um, and that's really what you use for like, you know, uh, your greens or like your, your green beans or your vegetables or whatever. And you want to put that in there, but they're, they're literally selling pieces of meat in different packages. And I also noticed that as well when I was at the grocery store, uh, yesterday afternoon. So I was really surprised to see that. But what I am going to tell you is there are so many creative ways that you can make your dollar stretch. Here's what I'm going to tell you about what we spent in terms of this particular meal. That box of parboiled rice was $1.28. The package of sausage, Italian sausage, was $4.47. The two peppers were $1.38 each. And I already had onions in-house. Okay? The can of soup came with the soup we already had at the house, right? So ultimately, this meal is probably going to be able to serve us for about two days. Say hi, KJ. This is what he looks like after school. Okay. So move out the way so I can finish our tips, topics, and talk for today for Monday evening. Um, so uh, you didn't you didn't say hello. You just leaned over. You should come and say hi to everybody so they can. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, go, on, boy. Go, go somewhere. <laughs> All right, you guys. Also, KJ in the hall. You don't want to miss his. Um, Video episodes, they're available on BWTV on brownstoneworldwide.com. I'm so glad he showed up because he's actually in the process of creating new content for you guys to enjoy. And his skits are really comedy. And it's also about sports and what he does. So you don't want to miss that, especially if you're a teenager or whatever. You want to see what's happening. He's a great resource for you to have. Um, it's starting to boil a little bit. we got the little bubbling going on like the cauldron in Sally. She's looking good. I'm excited about this because this is a really warm, tingly kind of year, uh, time of year for a lot of people. And so that means that people are already planning to pull out their warm clothes for fall and for the winter because we are expecting a little cold spell in the evenings. That means that it's time to pull out comforters, clean and wash some things, get the house ready for this time of year. I would encourage you to head over to brownstoneworldwide.com. I will be sharing some of the content that I'm talking about 
in our groups at Brownstones Best and the Corner Family, and also at the Brownstone Center and the Sunday Brunch. You can check out these content articles, which are showing you what to look for and keeping sure, making sure that your house is warm for the season that we're getting ready to get into. And then also uh, some pretty cool recipes. Last week, don't forget this, last week we literally went through um, and did cataracts. We talked about cataracts on Friday. Make sure that you go back and check out that video if you are not familiar with what to be looking for when it comes to cataracts. The reason why I brought that up is because as we get older, a lot of us are doing things that maybe we shouldn't be doing when it comes to not taking care of ourselves. And that too comes to our eyes. Our eyes tell us so much about ourselves. And as an eye care professional myself, um, with, a, with that experience, one of the things I can certainly tell you is is that um, you want to make sure that you're taking care of your eyes. Super, super, super important, um, especially when we're getting older and um, our diet and things that we're doing could impact uh, the propensity for us to get uh, the different types of cataracts that are out there. If you want to find out more information about that, head over to brownstoneworldwide.com and you can go over to the Brownstone and that particular article is there. I'll share it again so you guys can catch the replay as well of the video where I talked about it in detail. Okay, so um, what else are we doing this week on the Brownstone? More Tips, Topics, and Talk Wednesday night. You guys are going to get that roast chicken. And then on Friday, we're going to do our family uh, activity where we're going to be stacking our pup pumpkins on top of one another. I think that's going to be super, super, super cute. Also this week, one of the other things that we're doing is we're encouraging you guys to go ahead and sign up for the Brownstone Living newsletter because very shortly you guys are going to get uh, updates on what's happening in terms of sales, in terms of content, in terms of shows, in terms of what's happening behind the scenes here at the Brownstone. And lastly, the one thing that I certainly wanted to tell you guys about is beginning on Thursday of this week, we are opening up another fundraising challenge so that we can continue to send money to our partnering organization in Jackson, Mississippi, so that we can help them continue to get the clean drinking water that they need. OK, we're going to be sharing more information about that with you throughout the week. So make sure that you're paying attention. Um, share that link. Go ahead and purchase a couple of items if you would like to do that. We do, we definitely appreciate it because we want to make sure that this community that is helping to change the narrative of how we are seen in our own communities, both online and offline, are positive, uplifting, and empowering our community of Black and Brown individuals. Okay, so. I definitely am looking forward to this next round. We want to thank those folks who literally helped us with the first fundraiser that we had. We closed the books on that about a week and a half ago. It was a success. We raised well over $1,500 and we were able to uh, donate that to um, the organization that we're working with. We're going to be sharing that with you guys, who that is, uh, shortly. And uh, we'll be able to continue to support here from the Brownstone. And how do we do that? With the funds that we raise together as a community, we're able to support, we're able to help. So uh, most definitely looking forward to doing more of those and also giving you guys an opportunity to find out what is also happening at the Brownstone when it comes to our merch. We've got some cool t-shirts that you guys should definitely check out. That's coming up this week as well and other merch. And then here's the big one that I left for last, Brownstone Blends is back oh yes but here's what's different we are officially a part of another organization we're going to be talking to that couple soon in the future a part of brownstone's best we want to definitely um encourage you guys to listen and that group is called georgia gifts and more um we're excited to partner with them to have our blends to be a part of what they offer to their clientele and uh, we'll be sharing more on what that relationship looks like a little bit later. So we're super excited about this. You guys, one more time, we're going to head over here to the kitchen uh, in the, uh, the stove because we're actually already in the kitchen. Y'all already see that. Look at this. Y'all want to see how this looks? Look, listen, Linda, don't play with me. You see how easy that was? We're done. And the rice has expanded. We have a thick thick rice 
sausage that has that nice crust on it, right? And we're, we're good to go. We are good to go. This is going to be amazing. We're going to be sharing reels for the final result of what this looks like a little bit later. So you guys, this is where I get an opportunity as I put my hand all in your face. This is where I literally have an opportunity to say to you guys three things as we prepare to roll out for this edition of Tips, Topics, and Talk. Are you ready? Let's say it together. One, love your life. It is the only one that you have. Two, live your life to the fullest and embrace every single moment. And lastly, breathe through every single experience. I will see you guys on the next edition of Tips, Topics, and Talk right here in the Brownstone Kitchen. We're a part of Brownstone Worldwide, brownstoneworldwide.com, and KCCR, the Brownstone, the radio, the radio station app. So, you guys, I'll see you all on Wednesday for the day shift. We want to say thank you once again to all of you all who are participating and connecting and communing with us every single day in Brownstone's Best and the Corner Family. We'll see you on another edition of Tips, Topics, and Talk. Have a great night.